My name is Guy Wallace, and I'd like to talk to you about the five-tier content architecture of the PAC processes for training and development, learning, and knowledge management. A key to the architectural nature of PACT is this five-tier inventory scheme on the left. Tier 1, organizational orientations. Tier 2, performance orientations. Tier 3, enabling knowledge and skills. Tier 4, shared performance how-tos. And Tier 5, unique performance how-tos. PACT is a performance-based instructional systems design methodology set. Performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. PACT is performance-based and considers content reuse as is or after modification. PACT has five performance-based ISD methodology sets. PACT analysis, which feeds three levels of instructional systems design. Curriculum architecture design, modular curriculum development, which is the ADDI level of the methodology, and instructional activity development, where something less than a traditional instructional course is needed, such things as job aids or performance supports, guidance, SOPs, etc. All of that is under the guidance of the PAC project planning and management methodologies and tools and techniques. This presentation focuses on modular curriculum development and instructional activity development, MCD and IAD. The five-tier inventory scheme is just one portion of the PACT enterprise content architecture. Again, we're talking about MCD and IAD, Modular Curriculum Development and Instructional Activity Development. The PACT architectural levels, again, are intended in the design phase to help identify the training and development path or map, the training and development event map and specification, the training and development module and lesson map and specifications, and finally, the training and development instructional activity specifications. And what we develop with these maps and specifications, much like an architect would hand off to the builder, we would develop training and development events, lessons, and instructional activities, the three levels of design within MCD and IAD. Of the various types of content captured and stored in the enterprise content architecture are tier one organizational orientations. Think of it this way, welcome to the enterprise, welcome to the division, welcome to the function, welcome to the department, welcome to your job, welcome to the teams that you'll be on. Plus all the typical human resources, onboarding kinds of activities that must happen. Tier 2 provides a unique type of advanced organizer, an overview of the performance that's to be taught. Tier 3 includes the enabling knowledge and skills that are necessary to the performance. Tier 4 provides content on shared how-tos, content that is shared across many different jobs. And Tier 5 presents unique how-to content unique to one particular job or job family. When you think about this enterprise content architecture types, think of tier two as that advanced organizer for a set of tasks that lead to an output or multiple outputs. And there may be many different types of tier three content, including policies and procedures, marketplace knowledge, product knowledge, tool skills, and interpersonal skills, and that leads to Tier 5, How To, where you put it all together and practice the whole task set and the How To. You actually learn how to do the performance. No kidding.
the training and development path of events or map of events in a CAD project, the analysis effort identifies the performance requirements, the enabling knowledge and skill requirements, and any existing content for reuse purposes, where we might use it as is or after modification and thereby create another derivative of that first content. The training and development event map of lessons is produced in an MCD project where the design effort frames the defined lessons into a sequence addressing the performance and enabling knowledge and skill requirements plus any existing content. The training and development event spec of lessons is simply another view of the event map with additional details. The training and development lesson map of instructional activities is produced in an MCD project where the design effort frames the defined instructional activities into a sequence addressing the performance and enabling knowledge and skill requirements, plus any existing content into information, demonstration, and application exercises. The training and development instructional activity is the final level of instructional design in the PACS MCD methodologies and identifies the content sequence plus testing methods, who the lead SME is, the key resources, all for handoff to the assigned developer. When we're producing resources instead of courses, the instructional activity spec is still used. What tier would you put this type of instructional content? Content that's developed is stored in this inventory framework. This content is then pulled from this inventory scheme for use and reuse. In the PAC processes, CAD projects, curriculum architecture design, leads to many modular curriculum development and instructional activity development projects. Again, MCD, the ADDIE equivalent of the PAC processes, produces traditional courses. IAD produces job aids, etc. Where does the content come from for this five-tier inventory scheme? Tier one content would become from a reflection of the organization chart. And as that organization chart changes over time, the content configuration within tier one would also change. Tier two, four, and five, which is about performance, would come from the PAC processes performance analysis outputs. Tier three, Enabling knowledge and skills would come from the enabling knowledge and skills analysis efforts. Plus any existing content to be used as is or after modification into any tier. The PAC processes to instructional architecture focuses on reuse to save the shareholder money and time. The ECA's five-tier inventory structure stores instructional content generated by the PAC processes and it stores the paths, the MCD and IED design outputs, such as maps and specs. And it also stores the curriculum architecture design's efforts at identifying existing training assessment data. It also stores and helps manage shared and unique content, which might have many audiences and therefore many derivatives. Plus the ECA houses legacy content and what I call the well for shareable graphics, photos, and text, trying to make it easier for developers to find that kind of content that can be reused over and over again. Plus, this is where I would store other project resources such as lessons learned, best practices, and access information to external data resources. All of this is covered in Lean ISD, my 1999 book, which was a 2002 recipient of ISPI's Award for Excellence for Instructional Communications. In 2011, I reconfigured Lean ISD plus several other books into the six pack. Modular Curriculum Development is the book that would identify and address the five tier inventory scheme. This is all about performance competence, the ability to perform tasks, to produce outputs, to stakeholder requirements. I've been using these ISD 
philosophies, and approaches since 1979, and as an external consultant since 1982. They are field-tested and proven. The PAC processes, performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder-driven, training and development of any blend. Leverage your current master performers for higher performance, achieve peak performance, and protect and improve the enterprise. Thank you.